Send out your crazy boss, Atlantis. I want to face them. Whoa. <laughs> okay, no, take him back, take him back. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. So last episode, I held a poll asking you guys, do you want to see me buy a platinum ticket? And the vast majority of you said yes. Like, the poll wasn't even close. And I wanted to take the time at the beginning of this episode to say that a poll like this does a really good job at putting into perspective that you guys are enjoying the series. Like, as a YouTuber, it's really easy to scroll past all of the happy and supportive comments and have them all kind of blend together. And then that one annoying crybaby comment stands out and you think that's how people feel, but clearly it isn't. You guys love Ubers just as much as I do, the gotcha events, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna continue with it. We will get a platinum ticket, but I think I'm gonna put it off for next episode because I have another gotcha event planned for this episode. There's a limited time. We still have six days for the Platinum Ticket, but they've changed the guaranteed Uber Drop events. Now we have Tales of Nekaluga, or more importantly, the Miracle Chance. They've changed the 30 million celebration, and this one looks a lot better. Understandably, some people were a little bit upset that I didn't do the 30 million celebration last time. I know some people wanted to see it. I just wasn't really excited about the Ubers, so I wanted to get an Uber that I would enjoy, and that's kind of the case with Tales of Nekaluga as well, because... They're not, like, that great. Really, only Ultraland Passlan is the Uber that you want to get, which is Nekaluga himself. He evolves an Unknown Cat, then Ultraland Passlan. The rest of them are pretty replaceable. They look really cool. They're terrifying. But for the most part, they're not that good. I don't think I would be overly happy getting any of them. And plus, the event is going to come back, so I can always get one later. But Miracle Chance has... A lot of really good Ubers, like some S tier and some A tier Ubers. We can still get Balaluga, so we can still get a weird cat. There's a chance of that. I've heard Ice Cat and Sonata are both like A tier. They're pretty good. We can get Raiden and Twin Stars again, which I'm really, you know, that's that's downside. I'm not hoping for that. Uh, Surakani and Catman are both high damage dealers, which would be great. I really want to get Catman. Catman would be perfect for what I have to do. Thunder God Zeus, I feel like all of the gods are pretty cool. Uh, Mighty Bomber and Queen Reika are actually zombie killers. And I could use a zombie killer because I'm trying to get through all of the outbreaks. Striker Unit Ray, one of the best anti-floating. And then the Event Cats, which... You know, they're rarer, so I wouldn't mind getting them, but at the same time, they're they're worse than their regular counterparts, right? Like, they don't have a third form, so they kind of max out early on. I don't know. I'm not super excited about getting them. I'm going to hope for Catman, pretty much. And then the unique cat is Eastern and Neko who I wouldn't mind getting either. So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I know I could do two. People pointed that out last time. I only wanna do one. Am I ready to do one? I always freak out when I gotta pull the trigger. All right, 1500 cat food, bring me Catman. I really just want Catman. I tried last episode, I didn't get him, but we have another welterweight cat. You, you, I was gonna say you can never have too many welterweight cats, but you really can. Another stilts cat. Okay, we're building up to it. You gotta open a lot of crap to get your sweet Ubers. I wouldn't mind getting two Ubers again. That was pretty great last time. We got another Murkat. Okay. Another Stilts Cat. Love getting duplicates of duplicates. That's the stuff. Ooh. Do we have you already? You need Metal Cat? Rocker Cat? Something like Rocker Cat. That's a new one. Okay. It's kind of cool. Another Murkat. Oh, you're breaking my balls here, gotcha event. I can't, I just, Pogo Cat, I would imagine. Pogo Cat, okay, I'm really good at guessing these names now. Oh, Apple Cat. All right, I don't mind another level on Apple Cat because he's just awesome. I kind of want to evolve him. Another, I've only gotten like four cats and we're nine capsules in, I want to say. That is just, Brutal. Uh, shaman cat, okay, no, not really looking for shaman cat. Please, I don't know, I, I never count. I don't know if the next one is the Uber. Gimme cat man! Ooh, okay. That is uh, Sonata Yukimura. I'm pretty sure he's an A tier cat. Like it goes S, A, B, C, D, E, F kind of thing. And a lot of people think that he's really good. High damage dealer? Okay, let's see what he's all about. 
Pogo Cat, sucked into recent trend of toys, still looks pretty fun, cheap to produce, might survive being broken. I think he evolves into a cat that's quite useful. I remember seeing bouncy cats that survive a single death. Pretty decent meat shield, right? So I'll definitely remember Pogo. Rocker Cat, a peanut farmer's son became a rocker to avoid coming out about his nut allergies to his family. <laughs> Resistant to angelic attacks. Okay, so again, might act as a meat shield against angel units. Eh, it's not that exciting. In between episodes, I actually unlocked a couple of cats because I played some random events, so one of them was Vacation Queen, a timid office worker and mid-range attacker. Whoa! That was cool. Legs to break bad while on vacation. Fast attack and strong against red enemies. So I guess uh, it's that, oh, she's got a little chain in her hand and it's got a collar. Okay, I like that, that's so random. I also got Vengeful Cat, ranged attacker filled with hate for this world. Works very well with Sexy Legs Cat, crushes all with her Vengeful Fist attack. And the biggest thing is that she's a zombie killer. So if she kills a zombie, they don't get back up and I've already evolved her into Groucho Cat. Hate solves nothing. Laughter, however. Look out, dad jokes and ranged attacks combines well with anything tall. So again, we uh, have another zombie killer, this time area of attack. So, fine. I, I've been using them in outbreaks, they're not that good. And finally, we have Sonata Yukimura, a famous warrior that was transformed by the legendary cat armor into a bird type general. Deals massive damage to black enemies. Okay, I didn't know he was anti black. So, massive damage indicates the enemy type will take much more damage from unit. I think it's four times which is probably pretty sweet. It, he does have an area of attack, anti-black. Okay, so we have a decent anti-black uber out of it. Worthwhile. Have they upped the number of treasure festivals going on? Because every time I've played Into the Future, there's been a treasure festival. I have every gold treasure without really trying, which is great. But today, yeah, we're gonna continue with Into the Future. We're moving on to Cambodia. I'm still really hoping to see some sweet aliens. Maybe some new form aliens? Because every alien we've seen ooh, so far, that's kind of spooky, it has been a different iteration of an enemy we've already seen. So we had the hippo, we had the doggo and stuff like that. They did give them tentacles and weird tonguey bits. So maybe we can just expect some slightly different ones, but I would love to see a new crazy alien unit. So per your recommendations, whoa, okay, hold the horses. That's uh, a new one for sure. We haven't seen alien moth before. So I'm definitely gonna need to send out a lot of meat shields. As I was saying, per your recommendations last time, I got a new meat shield. People were telling me that Sumo Cat isn't the greatest meat shield, and I do agree to some degree. Like, she costs a lot more, the cooldown is a lot more, so she doesn't really serve that purpose all that well. If she's gonna get one-shotted like any other cat you send out there, but at the same time, if she survives multiple hits, then she would be better. So she's situational. Instead, I've replaced her with Samba Cat, who's very much like Macho. She only costs 75, you send them out really quickly, and they just get in the way and die instantly, but that's perfectly fine, because Bahamut and uh, White Rabbit get to do their job. We can get another, eh, maybe not, should keep meat shielding. I wanna get another Valkyrie out there, but I really don't wanna lose what I already have. Greed, there we go. Okay, we're good. That moth is uh, surviving a lot of damage. Will you please just explode? Ooh, okay, one down. So again, it is just a different iteration of a boss we've already seen. I was gonna point out that at least they put a little bit of effort into it, because it did have kind of sparkly, almost Venomoth-like wings. But other than that, not super exciting. We still managed to take it down, mostly because of Bahamut, who up maxed out. You guys are telling me that he's like the best cat in the game for pretty much. When he one shots a base like that, I tend to agree. And we didn't even get the treasure. What a ripoff. All right, Philippines. What are the aliens doing in the Philippines? Huh? What have they managed to overcome? What have they conquered? Uh, they're, what? Did they turn into bananas? That's weird. Meat shield all day. Ooh, okay, Bahamut. That is exactly what we needed. Definitely wanted to kill all those guys. Happy you did. Send out another Valkyrie. I've gained a tremendous appreciation for Valkyrie. 
I think she's one of my favorite cats now because she just does everything right. She has so much damage, she's fast, her cooldown is low, she doesn't cost very much. She feels like an Uber that doesn't cost like four or five thousand, which is just fantastic. And I need to keep meat shielding because these aliens are quite tough. I don't know why I'm sending out Apple Cats. It's just the point where I have so much money I need to send out everything. Can't deploy any more units. Anybody home? Any bosses? No, I'm probably yeah, not gonna get any time trial for that. And no treasure. Really? Treasure festival my ass. All right, we're gonna move on to Singapore. I feel like I'm traveling around the world as a cat, liberating Southeast Asia right now, technically. What's going on? We have Doggo. Yeah, the beginning of these levels are kind of uneventful. You just save up money, watch the cannon fodder come out. I feel like these cats, their only purpose is to give me a little bit of money so that I can buy some bigger stuff before their bigger stuff comes. Okay, giraffe, just headbutt that. Giraffe's neck is made of jello or something. It is just terrifying. Seeing an awful lot of red units and not an awful lot of aliens, so maybe you guys could send out a bit of a challenge. Ooh. No, that's a that's a red unit. Why is the Moon Chapter One boss here? <laughs> Fortunately, I did bring head, head cat. I was gonna say apple cat with me. You should be able to do a lot of work against him, please. Right? Just just stop him. Make him stop. There you go. Freezing him solid. He's just gonna sit there with a stupid mouth open, and he's dead. <laughs> All right. So we're finally running in to some bosses, or not? I guess that's no longer considered a boss, it's just a unit now. Good to know. But uh, he's not gonna do a whole lot to stop me from wailing on his base, I don't think. And we're done. <laughs> to think that I was freaking out over that in chapter one, that's the thing I like about this game is that the bosses just kind of get melded into the game and they become the weak units later on. You, you just feel like you're constantly getting stronger. And I got a superior Paracan Bull. Yeah. I feel like it's fitting to go to Australia and have everything want to kill you. That's not really into the future. That's kind of the present. And there's probably gonna be, yeah, oh. They've gotten to the koalas. That's, that doesn't look very good. What is going on right now? Oh, there we go. Finally, a kangaroo in Australia. The game makes sense. It took long enough. I kind of want to just save up and send out Valkyrie because I'm pretty sure she can wallop these guys. Okay, go, 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 go. Just murder all of these kangaroos and their babies. I, I take no shame in what I'm about to do. We got some more aliens, but that's not a boss, technically. Interesting, all right, so we'll just fire the cat cannon and uh, keep murdering everything. Bahamut's bringing up the rear. Any day now, buddy, we could, Valkyrie could have really used you there. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. You see, the moth has a chance of stopping my units with their attack. So they are kind of like a Venomoth. They're just constantly using Stun Spore and stopping all of my guys. But I'm still super far ahead. Yeah, and, and now they're dead. <laughs> you can't just let me have Bahamut out there and, and not actually get to it. So, boss? We had a boss last time, maybe? No, can't deploy any more units? Eh, no boss. I wanna see a crazy alien boss. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait for the moon? Would there be a moon in Into the Future? Wait a minute, this one's different? The Great Abyss. That wasn't in the first chapter, was it? So maybe this is gonna be some kind of alien stronghold? I like that, wouldn't mind. Oh, okay, we're underwater. Did we find Atlantis? Is anybody home, underwater aliens? I would definitely like to meet some underwater aliens. Underwater doggo. All right, giraffe, go punch that, headbutt that, whatever. Send out your crazy boss, Atlantis. I wanna face them. Whoa! <laughs> okay, no, take him back, take him back. Ew, it's got a little head coming out of its mouth like alien. <laughs> I think as long as I meet shield, I should be okay here. They're not moving up. And I do have White Rabbit, who's pretty good against aliens, right? Area of attack, Bahamut is still doing all right. I'm not getting a lot of money out of this is the, yeah, oh, is the issue. So if I lose these two big gunners, I might be completely screwed. <laughs> This is cool, this is exactly what I wanted. The past two episodes, this is what I've been asking for. An alien invasion worth my time. Oh crap, Bahamut's dead. 
Uh, oh, wait, I killed something worth a lot of money. I have maxed out money. All right, send out Valkyrie. I don't know if the alien form does like a lot more damage than a usual cat, but they survive forever. They have so much freaking hell. I really need to upgrade. Oh, the white rabbit, I thought she died there for a second. Her backflips are confusing me. All right, doing a decent job meat shielding though. We'll soon have more Ubers off cooldown, which would be very helpful right about now. I need to earn some freaking money. If we kill these seals, it would, no, no, that's not what I wanted to happen. We lost, why am I sending out Headcat? Why am I wasting my time with stupid Headcat? I need some kind of damage dealer or else we're just gonna be in a stalemate. Please, Cat Cannon, kill something for the love of God. Okay, well, we can get a Valkyrie. Valkyrie is better than nothing. Valkyrie can at least do some damage while I continue to spam my meat shields. That's the biggest thing. We killed another seal. Yes, killed another seal. Yes, go Bahamut. <laughs> They're pushing me back. This is an intense level. This is the kind of stuff that I've been doing in stages recently, like the special stages, I found that there are a lot more levels where there's an even back and forth and you're at a deadlock and you need to actually meet shield. It's not just me stomping through levels like into the future. So I've been really enjoying it. This is the kind of battle cats that I want to be playing. Come on, Bahamut, will you please just launch a spirit bomb and murder them? No, don't die. Spirit bomb, spirit bomb, kill, kill at least the seal for me. Ye yes, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. He listens to me. He's a well-trained Pokemon. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, white rabbit is out, we're good. More meat shields, send him back. This head will not freaking die. I cannot screw up my meat shielding because if I, oh, because if I do, they're gonna push forward. That's okay, we pushed him back. That's a big step, very important. Okay, he's slowed, so he's not moving forward. He is still eating a lot of my stuff. Can we please kill him? Why do I keep, no! Why do I keep sending out Headcat and why do I keep losing stuff? Ah, tits. All right, well, we have a little bit of money. It's not the end of the world. They keep sending out seals. This is not going well. We really need to kill some of these guys. I need a damage dealer. I need a Valkyrie. Valkyrie needs to fly in here and save me, but I'm gonna have to buy a dragon right now because they do something. They manage to stay behind. Yes, far as the cat cannon, please. Yes, cat cannon. You're a savior, you're a god among men. Valk, you can't just come out and get nailed like that. Please, stay behind the meat shields. That's the, that is why cats with high speed are the worst sometimes. Okay guys, please, please. I need to save a little money. I'm not sending out walls. I still need to send out walls, even though I really need Bahamut right about now. Bahamut, go. This has lasted forever. Just please, spirit bomb, murder them. It's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. Please don't take damage, Bahamut. This is so crucial right now. They're right next to the base. Oh, ah. Uh, is that gonna hurt him? I don't know. How much health does this freaking boss have right now? <laughs> I need to like get the sweat off my face, but I can't. Bahamut, please, I'm meat shielding as best as I can, but could you have a little bit of haste? Just the slightest bit of speed to spirit bomb these guys into oblivion. For the love of God, no, don't get knocked back, you idiot. Uh, okay, boom. Okay, we're killing, yes, finally. Oh my God, let loose everything. Go, go, go. Oh man, that was like a 15 minute fight. That was crazy. I thought for sure I was gonna lose and have to go back and get Warlock and Pierre because even though you guys told me that they're an amazing base destroyer, they do a ton of damage to aliens as well. So if he could not get hit, then he would have done the job. But you know what? Bahamut got, oh my God. Score of 288, that is how long this took me. All right, Madagascar, I think I've had my fill of crazy alien bosses for a few episodes. Let's just take it easy. I would love to be able to get through this level and spend my energy and make some progress to close out the episode. So if you and your silly little trees could calm down, I definitely would not have beaten the last level without Samba Cat. That was a situation where Samba was, I think much better than Sumo. Even then, whoa, 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 calm down. What are you? Stop it, little angel doggo. Ooh, why are there angels in the future? That's uh, unnerving. I don't have any of my anti-angel cats, but we could just send out some stuff. Holy crap, they take a lot of damage. Ah, uh, black alien, what is this level? 
Okay, now we're getting into the thick of things. I think this is the peak that you guys were talking about where the difficulty is gonna ramp. Oh my God, stop sending things at me. What is with all of the alien doggos? Okay, we need we need a damage dealer. I need to save up. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a few of you guys. I'm gonna have to sacrifice all of you guys. I am pretty bone zoned right now. Should not have let them that close to the base. Oh, don't let them hurt me. Don't let them hurt me, Valkyrie. They're hurting me, Valkyrie. Please stop. No, ah, oh, crap. Where did that come from? You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. I like going out on the loss because I don't think I have lost at all in this series. Maybe a few random times here or there, but I've seen people commenting saying that sometimes they root for me to lose. They want to see me overcome a little bit of hardship, and I agree. I want to be challenged, and it looks like Into the Future has all of a sudden become quite the challenge. So I'm excited to see how I'm going to fare next episode versus aliens and angels and black everythings. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.